Too soon, too soon. I can't wait to do this technique with like neon French nails, like every finger a different color. In neon, wouldn't that be sick? And this bottle is nearly empty. <laughs> Please forgive me for having the sniffles. It is super cold in here, super, super cold. I have it like 50 degrees inside the office, but it's better for my skin and you burn more calories the colder it is. And it also is great for keeping down own bacteria. That's why hospitals are so cold. <laughs> Neon yellow French would be everything. Denise Joaquin is watching us all the way from beautiful cells, Arizona. So let's line her up. Leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area. Press down. I need more pink press on gel. Because I got a big thumb. You can't go wrong with neon nails, even in the winter. There we go, beautiful. And now let's freeze it. So if you ever get air pockets or anything like that, don't cure the nail, just remove it and then freeze with press-on gel. And this morning I went to Walgreens and I went to go get batteries and I forgot to get batteries. I just went around and got a whole bunch of knickknacks and patty wax and trinkets. And the one thing I wanted to get, I forgot. Very max moment. I heard that's what happens to people when they go to Target. I know Marissa, she goes to Target. She goes to Target for one thing and comes out with like $100 less. Your mom did the same thing too, didn't she? Yeah. I remember when she came to visit us, she was like, I went to Target to get one thing. And then you're a hundred dollars in the drain with Target. Not even a hundred. More than that. Really? So Target is a dangerous place for the Gavino girls. It sounds so like a lot of people also at enocouture.com. We go get one thing and we just end up getting more. But that's a good kind though, because it's tax deductible. You can write it off as an expense. And we're going to cure her for one minute. That's right. Get that promo code. Oh, let me take off these ears. Oh, I can't wait to wash this bundle out because it is time. I rode the wave for like four days, you guys. It's the wave is over. Hola Max, desde México, un saludo, un saludo, always happens. Make sure she's nice and cured beautiful. See, look at that, it, by applying press-on gel the way we did, it kind of already gave us a outline for the smile line, which will make it easier for us too. So we're gonna take a 180 grit file, make sure there's no gel stuck to the skin, go in and tailor the nail. And like I say, leave a little bit of space between the natural nail and the one, two, three, go nail. So that way we can go in with the drill and blend in that cuticle. What happens on the 27th? I'm trying to think. A new special starts. But it won't be a promo code for, for the next one. It'll be something else. Like a gift. You've got to give him that loving feeling. Whoa, whoa, that loving feeling, but it's gone, gone. Look at that blend. Is something happening on the 27th? No. 
And Tony's talking about it. She's like, you said something was gonna happen between Sam. I can't remember. No, I think that's when um, the new promo starts. Hi from Tucson. So we're gonna use a mixer bit to finish the blend. Bonsoir, Canada. We're gonna use the mixer bit. This bit is incredible. So fine, you guys. You can really get in there and blend, blend, blend without ever worrying about cutting the skin, breaking the skin, because this bit is extra, extra, extra fine. It's called the mixer bit. I'm trying to think if I, I probably did say something, but I'm trying to remember. Something exciting is happening. Getting everybody hyped up for nothing. Well, no, not for nothing, but. Hi from VA, Virginia in the house. I'm using the smooth side of the purple buffer too, because I want the surface of the nail to be really, really smooth before we use our gel polish. But like I already, I've said before, you guys, the surface of the 123 Go Nail is perfect. It is literally perfect out of the bag. There is no lumps or bumps, lady lumps, or any like surface uneven texture. So when you apply your product, it is literally perfect. So you don't have to worry about anything, which is literally incredible. Hi from Dayton, Ohio. Hi from Elmo. Hi from Kansas. Beautiful. So now we're gonna get black painting gel. I actually already poured it out on a black, on a black. I poured the black out on a plastic bag because my play color palette is covered in diamonds. So I should get another one just for painting gels. But this is the painting gel. You can use gel polish 002, which is our black gel polish, but it has a thinner consistency. And I want that cold, that thicker consistency so that way I don't have any running or anything like that when I'm painting on the smile line. You can mix also in it um, a little bit of gel polish too if it's too thick for you so that way you have a um, uh, thinner viscosity. So in the vegan four pack of brushes, you get this hot pink one, and this is the one we're going to use to paint on the smile line. So we're going to load it up. Like that. You don't want too, too much on it. And then we're going to begin to draw out the smile line. And you kind of want to eyeball a little bit where they're even on both sides. Okay. And I'm not gonna paint the whole free edge with the liner brush. I'm just getting it to the smile line, like so. And if you make a mistake, it's okay because I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a mistake as well too. So that way you won't be so discouraged. Cause trust me, I mean, nobody can do this perfectly every single time. So we gotta know the tricks to fix it. So I'm going to take my Sailor Magic gel brush. The Australian website is going through some changes on the back end. Miss Melcro has been working her butt off with something that's going to streamline everything in Australia really soon. So please be patient. You can message enocouture.com Australia for updates, but I know it will be happening very, very soon. So I'm using my Sailor Magic gel brush to get the painting gel and 
paint the fridge and you can see that coverage in one coat and this is thin super super thin super super pigmented so that way i don't build out any unwanted um volume or thickness to the nail because i don't want the nail to like flare out i want to keep her skinny mini That coverage though, stunning. Like a brush. If you see any parts that need more painting gel, just go in. And then now comes a little trick. Put this over here because I don't need it anymore. I got my crystal dab and dish with acetone in already and take my sailor magic 3d brush load it up with a little bit of acetone not too too much turn the nail to the side and we're going to swoop that smile line nice and sharp swoop and look at that perfect 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 go in There we go. Super sharp and perfect. Look at that from the side, you guys. And if you have any uneven part of the smile line, just go in with your brush, swoop, and swoop that smile line clean. And now we're gonna set it and forget it. We're gonna bake it for 30 seconds. But look at that, isn't that stunning? Let's check out them comments. Miss Michelle said, I saw your last vid on foils. Great tips with the curing. Now I know not to over cure. Mine never really turned out quite right. You're welcome. I've developed another reaction to any type of gel. Do you think I'd be allergic to acrylic? Also, I miss doing my gel nails. I don't know. I can't say if you will, or if you won't, everybody reacts differently. So unfortunately I won't be able to answer that question properly. Your, probably, your best bet is to um, find out and see what's gonna work best for you. Maybe take an antihistamine prior to your application and avoid all contact on the skin. Beautiful. So now we're gonna finish, of course you already know, with shiny gel. That shine on the nails. Westchester County, New York. Hello, hello. You're welcome. Absolutely sexy nails. So another little trick we're going to do is we're going to turn the hand upside down and let the nail self level out. This is going to make the gel super smooth before we cure it. Because when the light hits it, look at that. The surface structure of the nail is perfect, completely perfect. So now let's bake it for one minute inside our dazzling darling lamp or one minute inside our Regular darling lamp. Do you guys like this technique? It's super easy, isn't it? Yes, you can definitely do it matte. Apply a coat of velvet gel on top and make her powdery. Oh, 
Oh, you're gonna love it. How exciting. I love this technique, you guys. I love the look of a classic French nail. And of course, enocouture.com already has pre-made gel nails in French and in ombre, but this is a great way to mix it up a little bit if you wanna do your own, if there's a shape that's not in French or an ombre that you want to uh, have a French effect in. Now you know how, and it's really easy, and it's just a beautiful look. Look at that. Now we are complete. We are complete. Look at that. A little dusty, but complete. Let's get rid of that dust. Let's apply a little bit of Kiroko oil. The secrets. Give you that award-winning pose. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? So what the cob? Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this demo, you guys. Super easy, but just a classic, timeless design. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for supporting American companies and American manufacturing here at inocouture.com. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to use that promo code, and I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.